What's up guys? This is the Broverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Empire of Sweden. So to pick up where we left off, we have previously repulsed one Prussian attack across the river and they have now sent another. This is part of the garrison from Berlin, I believe, that's coming our way. Uh, but we will defeat them and then we will make them, we will force them back across the river and we can continue our drive into Prussian territory. So let's take them out. So this is probably going to be quite similar to the last episode because obviously we fought something very similar and it looks like we might actually only have one crossing. Which would be pretty interesting to see. We're deployed right across the uh, river from it though. Yep, so there's the crossing, but let's just check. Pretty sure these are all not crossings, that's clearly the crossing. And... oh there is a bridge. Um. Okay, I'm going to deploy a militia and an indelta to secure the bridge, just in case. But ultimately, I think they're going to be focusing on crossing over here. So I might put some 12s on the hill back here. Because they do have the range. Let's put my lifeguard troops in the centre. My Finska troops on the right, Bjornborg on the left. Let's put a Foot Jaeger on each flank as well. That leaves us with an Adelta and a Militia unit currently unequipped. Or un not unequipped, un unutilised. Okay, deploy my howitzers. Deploying your infantry behind walls will... Quiet, you. Oh, I've deployed everyone slightly off. I'm a, I'm a goon. We're gonna have to run. I'm gonna foot Jaeger here to skirmish. My infantry can just shoot at whoever they like. Get this foot Jaeger deployed over here as well. I mean, it looks like they're probably not going to go for this bridge, but better safe than sorry. Let's get all my cavalry <coughs> deployed slightly to the rear. Get my general to get over to the crossing point, because if they do go for it, then we will likely see a melee, a melee charge. Ignore the 12 pounder, go for the horse guards. How it's just focus on the troops. They're about to cross my 12s, focus on the 29th. You might actually be better off. Keep smacking into, keep firing shells into the centre. If you can't quite reach where you need to get to. So this is the 29th horse guards that are on their way. Cross. Just ignore their gunners for now. So this is complete this is actually a pretty fresh army. No one's got any experience. Foot Jaeger run. Everyone's pouring fire onto the cuirassier. Keep my general moving up close to the front lines. If we do get bayonet charged, we're going to need him to support. Let's make sure my guard infantry are on. Well, my, my uh, uh, lifeguard are on fire at will. Not fire at will, they're on guard mode on, sorry. We really need the horse guards to go down pretty quick. And they have. So these men can get back into formation because we've got a large enemy force crossing over, thankfully. Okay, let's make all my howitzers engage, my 12 pounders engage the horse guards. And to repulse this initial volley, everyone's going to be firing. 
Wait, why are you... Okay, why, A, why are you moving? And B, why aren't you guys... Getting into position? Because we've got a large enemy concentration coming here. Go on, 12 foot guards, open up. 27th and the 28th horse guard to try and cross. But that's that's a wad of troops and no mistake. How it's a fire. You may drop in the square, but again, hopefully I can knock out the cavalry pretty quick. I'm not so bothered about them rushing my 11th foot guards. There goes one cavalry unit. 28th horse guards need to be routed. They're doing... They're not in a good way. They too are broken, so you men get back out of square formation or musket fire onto this mass of troops. My foot Jaeger, they're in an okay position. Let's actually pair with them a bit more. That's both the cavalry units routing. Now that's a musketeer unit routing. Retargeting my howitzers to make sure they're picking units that they're currently sticking around. The 48th Regiment of settled on the side of the hill, or well, this side of the river, and they are going to attempt to cross those attempt to put guards. They're pushing forward. That's why I want to keep my cavalry potentially a bit closer than I currently am. Oh, danger close there with artillery. We've just hit one of our own lines, but that's a couple of units routing. So we've got some good volleys that can be fired in there. A couple of guardsmen have advanced out into the scrum. There goes the 10th foot guards. The 9th light horse are also wavering. No, you men. Do not advance. I'm content to let them retreat. Guard Jaeger Company could do with going down. The ninth flight horse are charging. They charge the twelfth. Okay, putting a vo putting some volleys into the guard Jaeger. My lifeguard actually might charge the guard Jaeger just to see them off. Better off trying. They're better off sticking with their current assignment. If the guard, if the if the guard Jaeger decide to follow them, then that's their prerogative. There we go. They've retreated, so I can pull my guards back. This is a mess. We target my howitzers. Everyone is about to get another uh, bombard bombardment barrage order. That's the one. Go on, foot guards. About face. Oh, such devastating fire at close range. There we go. A good routing units, so my men are going to take this opportunity to reload and recover because they're all tired. The 18th light foot, the very light the infantry. Yeah, very foolish. There's a good chance a portion of these troops will come back. Give some orders to re-engage some of the enemy. 
I have their militia. Yeah, they're gonna push up. But they're gonna have to be careful. They're the only target that most of my men have to aim at. They're being engaged from all directions. Ooh, short round hit the, hit the 79th. Well, they could have been their guns, actually. Just across the river. You guys can't. You guys can advance up a little bit more. See if you can skirmish across and hit their artillery. Yeah, it's a lot of dead Prussians. They made it quite far. Oh, they're closing the distance, which makes them even more susceptible to our fire. There we go. We've knocked out two more gun crew. Although for the most part, it looks like their guns aren't really firing. Forty-six have come back. The general staff are moving into range. And they're out of range for these these guys to shoot at them. Sadly, another well, good volley. In the the twenty-third regiment will soon be put. That could be the challenge about charging after them, after a routing enemy like this, is they can very easily start to recover. And before you know it, you're in a bit of a slugfest on the far side of the river, which you don't necessarily want to be in. Especially not in Napoleon. Oh, more experience handed out. Actually, so both my guard units have got some experience. The 79th have got some experience too. Actually, both of my Bjornborg have got some good experience. Nice. Pick new artillery targets. And ultimately, let's speed up time because I don't think the AI is going to be. <laughs> We're mowing them down as they retreat back across the river, but it looks like they don't really want to necessarily charge again. Oh, there you go. A large number of them have actually recovered, so I want to kind of see. Wait and see if they elect to push back in larger numbers. Because right now, it looks like they don't seem to really want to. 46th here. Taking the odd casualty. Apart from that, though. Okay, let's push up my line a bit. You may have fire it all off. Same with you guys. A yeah, good amount of units are coming back. But they're all going to be pretty exhausted, as is anyway. There we go, keep my gunners engaging the enemy. Go on, 65th. An almighty volley there. Attempting to cross once more with their colours to the rear. Guard Jaeger pushing up, foot guards are back. You yeah, see, almost all of those units that were routing have decided to recover. They won't stick around for very long because they are quite. they have been quite badly mauled. That's not to say that we've exactly got away with it. But you know, we have come across it. Oh, good shot. We have come out of this quite well to date. The Prussian musketeer units bunched up quite significantly. Could potentially drop. Can't really put you guys in anywhere. Great. How oh, it's a shots. 
get everyone to barrage again because they've got another concentration on the way. So the guard Jaeger are pushing up front first. They've lost two thirds of their forces. So understandably they're not probably not going to be around for too long. And how mean an infantry. Oh god. And they go the guard Jaeger. Got hit hit by hit by a cannonball. This is the 46th, the 10th, the 48th, the 49th, the 23rd. Well, they're all coming back over in the same old style. See how much further they make it this time. We're able to do a lot of damage to them with our artillery fire now. The general staff actually coming across. Oh no, he's gonna turn around and decide this is a bad idea. We want him to turn around because that means that then his morale bubble will be reduced. 46th regiment, they're just eating musketry with no letter from the 65th regiment oh, I got hit by artillery there though there's the foot guards coming up now 10th foot guards ooh hit them big time Push my general up, push up the 64. So there, these men are steady, but they are exhausted. So my my troops are very tired, so they're not necessarily in a better position, but they're it's not so bad for them. Okay, right. Pull my cavalry back. Pull my... Uh, get my cavalry... to cross. To be honest, make them run. They've got a couple of units of infantry on the far side of the river. these men out of the way. 21st horse guards. Charge them down. You men fire it will off. Oh yeah artillery. Stop that. I mean I can't cease fire them so I'm going to have to limber them up. Charge onwards, my cavalry. They're getting bogged down because they can't move through the huge numbers of troops so easily, either. They're having to hack their way through the infantry. I want them to go after... Oh, they've routed... Keep redirecting units to push forward. The gunners are now trying to cross. So let's cease fire the skirmishers. Because they're about to meet my counter-charging cavalry. Which are going to be hoovering up the kills. My horse guards. Yeah, we broke the 50th. Bring my general staff over here as well. The gunners, yeah. They do not appreciate what's been happening. You get a light, my light cavalry to focus on the artillery. Come to think of it. Yeah, we're probably gonna push this to a certain degree, but we're not gonna go mad because it will take forever to mop up all of these troops. 
We've already done a significant amount of damage as it is. Our general is under attack. Yeah, from routing troops, he's. Don't worry about. Don't worry about him. Get my horse guards to go after the general staff. My general staff just keep hacking down Prussians because we are doing an awful lot of damage. Just trying to get to places. We haven't got the general staff, but. That is a hell of a lot of Prussians killed there for not very many Swedish loss. Yes, we lost 261, they lost 2,700, so 10 to 1 ratio. In terms of kills, my lifeguard... My lifeguard Jaeger and my lifeguard de Hast are obviously up there. Lifeguard Jaeger from 0 experience to 3. Yep, that was the, that's the birth of an army right there. So my plan is going to be a slow but methodical squeeze on Berlin. That's my strategy. We aren't necessarily bothered about... Uh, let's just auto-resolve that. So you're securing one bridge. To be honest, we can't afford to just secure bridges in our safe sectors until we drive down... Electro demands from Mecklenburg, very well. Mr. Langra can cover Schwerin. Mr. Ordegard, cover the bridge yourself. Could potentially drive to Berlin from the east. You guys cover this bridge. Let's bring Mr. Hemrickson here to try and cover this bridge. Then when Mr. Langre is back up to strength, we're not necessarily back up to strength. Once we've done, we've taken out a few a few more Prussian troops in advantageous battles. Then I think we can just demand the surrender of the garrison. To be honest, so we occupy the city, we repair the military academy, and then move you out of the city. You're only minus one, so that's okay. Let's move you down to the. Uh, the border of the Pontifical States, because we do want to push and hit Palermo and Naples. But more than that, we want to make sure that our recruitment here is still going strong. You need two more units, which you're going to get. My capital has three recruitment slots, so you can get a 12 pounder plus. Svenskegarde and Lifeguarder Grenadier. So let's get you back to here. Got a light Dragoon unit that looks like it's going to try and break through Prussian territory. I'm happy to let it. Okay, we've missed out some recruitment here. Two in Delta, two Finska. Foot Jäger, light infantry. Militia. Good, keep on stacking them up. Two more in two more turns. Well, yeah, in two turns you will be ready to drive south and onto the front. We still have to fight against the Brits. Let's uh, push up a bit just to see if we can lure any of the British to come out. Where's Wellesley? Because ultimately we've got three armies here. This is what we've got. We need to be careful with them. We don't really have any any other armies spared to deploy because all of our armies are being chucked into the front line here. Uh, but this is quite good. We can take Mr. Leitner. We can push him away with Mr. Hendrickson. Then this army can drive and capture this bridge. You guys can capture the bridge towards Dresden, but it still puts you potentially at risk. You don't necessarily want to drive too far to the south without taking Berlin. But if these two armies are in position next turn and things are quite healthy. I mean, we could go for it now, but I want to wait a turn just to try and get another turn's re replenishment on this army because they are my reserves. Got new mines in, in Sardinia, so let's upgrade the gold mine. Some good recruitment. Workers on striking that Mecklenburg, we've sorted that out. Spying in Lemberg. Innsbruck has surrendered and Tyrol is ours. So you guys... We're all going to push on Prague. And Mr. Stedink. Oh yes. You get there and help. 
because there is a Prussian army here. Don't know why I've gone to research. There's nothing to research. Um, in terms of our navy, I mean, and that's it. In turn, our garrison army is moving up to Hanover just to make sure we didn't lose any uh, territories from sneaky gaps in our lines. We're still allied with the Russians. Oh, might Britain go for my trade nodes? I mean, if they do, it doesn't matter, because we have got just absolutely oodles of of uh, trade in of uh, tax income. Okay, they're, they're strengthening around, around Prague to the south. Pushing towards Berlin. Well, they're strengthening their Berlin front. But we are in the most tactically advantageous position. This Mr. Blucher himself. I mean, you're a fool, Blucher. You're a complete fool. Because the garrison is not in a position to help you, and you've lost out on all of these troops. Blucher, Gottlieb, Ox. Adam Edelman and Emmanuel K Kugelgen. Very well. It's war you want, and death you shall have, Mr. Blucher. Push forward, kick him back, and yeah. We've got that army coming up in reserve that will be able to siege um, Prague and then take it. Ooh. My 12 is going to drag up to the high ground here, backed up by my f by the Finns and my militia. My Varde infantry, my Bjornborg, and my guard infantry are going to be at the base of the hill. Skirmishes are going to go on the left hand side, advancing up the hill. How it's just follow the main line forward. Spread out the cavalry on either flank. General in the centre. You done messed up. So my regular troops aren't going to stand in line with the guns. They're going to advance ahead of them. I'm going to position ready for the reinforcements that are coming in on the flank. I'm going to mostly try and push the left. There's Mr. Blucher, the dummy. Oh, it's his limber up. There he is. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> Grenadiers, militia, 11th regiment for Jaeger. They do have some guard Jaeger hidden somewhere. Mostly, this is enemy cavalry joining the field with a couple of suicidal general staff units from the garrison. Okay, my front line is going to run to get into position because they're getting left behind. Pivot my 12s. Oh, I smashed into that line. Only killed two guys. Cobra Grenadiers. Yeah, the Jaegers have engaged my militia. These units are just going to deploy immediately on the flank. Let's try and get my skirmishes around here as well. To try and buy a, get a bit more volume for my cavalry to manoeuvre. We aren't going to sit here and wait to be engaged. We are going to push up. You guys, 
skirmishes. Uh, some of our skirmishes got co-opted into the line very well. Get my 12s to unlimber on this lovely piece of high ground. So the 54th Regiment of Foot, the Pinska Ineldat, will engage. We're engaging this, the uh, skirmishes, that's quite good. My 12s on the hill. Focus on the enemy cavalry. If they attempt to charge us, we have our own strong cavalry reserves, plus we have a couple of units of infantry that can just drop into squares. But ultimately, I think... Where's my general? I forgot to move him, didn't I? Get him over here, because the militia, understandably, are the most upset. Push the cavalry up towards Mr. Blucher himself. Put Jaeger going to make ready. Volley into the... the Jaeger. Deploy into squares across the wing. You guys are advancing. You're going to cover the militia. Counter charge our light horse towards that unit of general staff. Luca knows what's coming, so he's relocating. Okay, actually, don't deploy my cavalry because they're suffering from not necessarily wanting to charge my cavalry. If you can knock out those Jaeger, though, that'd be great. The battle's on the right flank, though. Pushing away that guy looks fantastic. One of their generals, not Blucha. Because it looks like they really don't... Well, they are going to try and charge us, the fools. Enemy infantry is just nowhere, on, nowhere in sight. Excellent. The enemy are aware that their flank is folded. The general staff that's been hiding to the rear... Oh, my line could be even better. You men advance to face off against the 10th Regiment of Militia. There goes enemy cavalry. My infantry form line and advance towards the Guard Jaeger. My heavy cavalry have killed another one of their generals, but not their main general. He's all the way back here. Doesn't want to be here at all. That general staff unit has only just recovered. So they're going to charge us. So you men form ranks. My foot Jaeger. I mean, they might go for my foot Jaeger. They do like going for unprotected. Well, they light horse and horse guard. They're unprotected infantry. Make sure you guys are just pushing up. Push my cavalry forward towards the horse guards. Yeah, my, my horse guards, for some reason, elected to run away from the engagement rather than into it. Excellent, so we've got we're winning the engagement in the field. My heavy cavalry are charging in. Hopefully they're going to cause some concern there. So guys, my, this, this infantry can receive an order just to just advance straight through. There we go. I had to get redeploy my general onto this flank. To be honest, you guys cease fire. He's my light cavalry to deal with them. Human advance. Human advance. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest. Oh, they don't give a damn. They can rest when they're redeploying. Yeah, 
my light cavalry broke but my horse guards will not well I say that they're currently just standing back here not really doing anything deploy my horse guards to hit the sixth because they've they've hit my cavalry but their cav my cavalry standing firm getting hit in the flank by my heavies will break them by the looks of things Human advance into the advance over there to engage the militia at point blank range. There we go. So let's advance my infantry line forward. My howitzers unlimber, my twelves can't engage them at that distance. Get my lights to push up on the left, get my general to deploy to the centre. These are my foot Jaeger, my skirmishers being pushed up to engage the Slaishisha Jaeger, or however you pronounce that. Advance up my howitzers. limber up. I mean these guys, these militia, these Lanvair militia and that nice infantry unit might come back. They've not, they've not lost a huge amount of their troops. Reserve musketeers, Prussian grenadiers, general staff. Bavarian Leichter Infanterie. There we go, there go, there. <laughs> there go the Jaeger. So then let's speed up time as troops advance and people redeploy. Well, we run up into a grenadier unit, so we do some damage to them. General S wait a minute, are you charging? I was gonna say, you madman. Although it sounds like he is now about to charge. Okay, my horse guards attack the light horse, my light horse attack the general staff. Okay, let's pick these units and form a right flank with my cavalry out even wider there we go light cavalry versus the general staff we're engaging the enemy troops as they flee it doesn't help my light cavalry is exhausted how it's is in position Maybe push up just a little bit more. General staff's been routed. Uh, recall the cavalry. Just make them... Let them come back to us. Go on, don't let them get away. So they're moving back now. The devils. Let's let my infantry reform. Good, they were broke. Now my cavalry can try and get back to some reasonable level of stamina. Let's see who's pivot to face off against the militia to give my cavalry a bit of support. Where's my light cavalry? My light cavalry that is hidden 
is going to advance towards Blucher. My cavalry on the left is more or less a spent force until they regain some stamina. Unlimber my heartsers. They are pulling back to form a defensive position. But it will not do them any good. Regiment Zufus. Guard Regiment Zufus. So the 9th Light Foot. Plus the 10th Regiment of Militia. Okay, my 12s are in a better... They're in an okay position. My light horse are winded, but they're making good progress. Once my right flank's up, we can push forward and squeeze them even more. My 12s engage their guns, even though that's kind of not a super useful task. Actually, go hit that unit of militia. Quite sure what these fusiliers are doing. Advancing up some of my skirmishers at very close ranges. Maybe the same thing as these Jaeger are doing, advancing up to point-blank range. They don't want to live for their false king. There we go. So the, the, the enemy, it appears, suffers quite significantly when you... From, uh, from morale penalties. When you attack them with bayonets. My light horse, to be honest, don't be surprised if they, they could potentially lose. Because they are <laughs> fighting a quite an experienced general unit, so they they don't give up easy. But then again, he's given up pretty easy. But he is at the edge of the map, so when he routes, he will get away. Although he's not there. We have killed their general, hey, we got him. There he is. Break. Big mistake, Prussia. Huge. Hit that general staff and take him out, but mostly I want my cavalry to be stationary on the left and to act as just a bit of a reserve. It looks like probably going to want to do a bit more of a different position here. Let's run. Let's get the howitzers to engage. Oh, they can't because they're too far away. Limber up. And my general. Not so that the Lightfoot are determined to get into range of my cavalry. Split my lights and heavies both directions. I'm not quite sure what their what their ideal result is because they're, they're they're exhausted. So, keep advancing my troops up. Short, sure, oh, I could put another, another unit of militia into the field. Let's try to break that unit of Bavarian light infantry.
Hit the reserve musketeer. You men hit the Prussian grenadiers. Unless they form square, they're going to be in serious trouble. Although it looks like they might make us bounce off. Barvade infantry join the fight on the flank. My cavalry to advance towards this unit of infantry here. Bayonet charge the flank of the Russian grenadiers. They are already wavering. Cavalry onward into the 22nd. The light cavalry charge on to those Grenadier to these, these skirmishers here. You men hit the 11th Regiment of Foot because they're wavering. So if we do that, we can then hook this flank around, and then ultimately these guys start to look very squiffy. Keep hitting the reserve musketeers. Okay, that's another unit routed, so then we can immediately go and do something like this. Push my troops right up into their grill. You men form up, because you're going to get smacked if you don't move. Hit the foot guards. Give them a volley. Your militia, but at close range. Swedish lifeguard, charge. Yep. That's what it's all going to become. Bayonet charge. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. So we hit the foot guards in the flank. Charge them into the face with two units of militia. There goes their guard units. There goes their army. Except for the artillery. That they've routed to. So over the last couple of episodes we've done some we've made some quite good progress. Smashing the Prussians, although we are going to end it there, because, uh, yeah, with how long, <laughs> how, how uh, slow my cavalry get. Oh, look at that. That's a huge amount of troops killed. And Blucher himself. They might be trying to charge around us. Well, charge around us. Sneak around us, because they can't actually push us out. Good. We can advance and capture that, secure that bridge without bloodshed. Russia is on the move. I would like, to be honest, that army that's been recruited in Sweden, I, I might land and try and hit Konigsberg with them. Depends on what state their fort is in. Workers on strike in Tyrol. No, they're okay now. Excellent, so that's a great battle. Victory over the Prussians. If you put Prague under siege... Okay, we can't. You don't call in the reserves, you, but you guys may. Okay, so I've got you to watch about, Mr. Kallenbach. But you guys do need to push to support them, which means you guys are going to advance out of your bridge head, throw down to the Prussians. What do they want to do? The Alavasta Henriksen can cover this bridge to prevent them from sneaking across here. Meanwhile, to be honest, we might want to just push Berlin. Although, do they have... They have fortifications, so if we attack them, we're going to want to... Uh, fight a... We're going to want to siege them out. You're going to have to sit there holding Schwerin. Because they do not want to give up. Uh, let's take... 74 gun. And scout... The coast. 
Danzig is pretty weak. Königsberg doesn't really have much in it. We could land and make a... especially as they don't have any fortifications. Huh. That's interesting. I'm keeping an eye on you, Mr. Collingwood. If you want to advance south, you can. I'm, I, I'm tempted to advance to the bridge to see if they go for it. So, so before we do that, Mr. Mr. Backstrom to be within range. Advance to the bridge. And I want to see if we can make them move and get involved in a bridge action. You are still replenishing from your previous... Well, from the battle to take the city. So your job is to hold. We do have a British army on the way south. You're on your way to Hanover. Okay, now we have... Oh, no, we don't. No, no, sorry. He's not done yet. He's got one more turn. You're going to Mr. Samuelson. Two more slots. You've got two elite infantry units, so let's get a foot Jaeger and a light infantry unit. And let's preemptively start to enlist another general. Ole Sp Sprengtporten. Good. I think it might be better if I just keep uh, Finland recruiting infantry, because you can actually recruit quite a lot of infantry. Yeah, one more turn till he's done, Mr. Skolfus. If they try and advance around us here, then we've got we we hope we've got a garrison here at Schwerin. Technically, resupplying to Schlitt to uh, Copenhagen would be the smart decision because he re reinforce quicker. But I want to see what happens. I want to hit end turn and see if the AI move their troops in Prussia in such a way that it's advantageous for our cause. The Austrians are still butting heads with the, with the Russians, which is fine by me. Yeah, they finally spotted our trade ships. That's fine. I'm not interested in trade. We are not interested in trade. We've got half a million. A cool half a million in the bank. They're advancing. Oh, this is... This is going to be glorious. It brings in all three of these armies. It also brings in this army as a reserve force, which we won't... I don't well, I don't think we will need. Um, but it gives us an opportunity to pretty much break the Prussian forces in central Germany. But, looking at the timer, I'm definitely going to stop recording here and see this, uh, see this play out in the next episode, because this could take some time. And crucially, because these battles take so long, um, we will be... Well, they're going to be the ones that are rushed by time. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for yet another Prussian slugfest over the river. Cheers, everyone.